Hello viewers, it's your Lolly Tinas and thank you once again for joining me on DMAPS TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're coming here for the first time. If you're regular, just do the usual. Please like and comment and also share our video so that you won't miss any of the videos that we do here. Because what we do is to give you current affairs in real time. So, hope you watching on is posted or oh, yes, commented on the issue of the Triple C MPs who were recalled by Juan Sengezo Chavango. And hope you watching on is very clear. He is advising the MPs on uh, all the Triple C MPs to withdraw totally from Parliament and contest his independence. Posting on X, Opo Chingono yet this to say. The real test of commitment to the struggle against Sanupiev tyranny and corrupt rule would be a total withdrawal of all Triple C MPs from Parliament. That would trigger by elections which they would contest as independence. But the problem now is how many of them are prepared to stand on principle instead of parliamentary picks. So they've got a decision they have to choose between whether they want to remain a triple C and be on the lifeline of Chavangu or they will just resign and contest as independence. Based on the High Court judgment issued today. Parliament is now dysfunctional and SADC won't intervene without a crisis. Wouldn't it be prudent to withdraw them? Right now, many Triple C MPs are pleading with Chawangu not to be recalled. What purpose are they if they are in Parliament on Chawangu's benevolence? Sanupiev and Munangagwa wanted two thirds majority. They can only get it if Triple C doesn't contest the by elections. So not contesting is not a plausible and tactically smart choice. They have to contest and stop a total parliamentary challenge as we saw in 2015 when Zanopiev took over urban seats which Morgan Changrai decided not to contest. My first choice would be to withdraw and contest by elections as independents while building a political party with a constitution and structured Leadership. So we are back again to the issue of the constitution and also to the issue perhaps of a congress. Those that refuse to withdraw, you know that they were never with you in the in the first place. Second option is to only contest in by elections that are triggered by Shabang's records and keep those not recorded in parliament. I prefer the first option. It gives you 100% control over the business of opposing ZANU-PF. Without that, you have compromised MPs whose only survival is decided by Chawangu. Now that they know they are beholden to Chawangu, you will see how silent many will be in these streets for fear of being recalled. How many can publicly declare their allegation to the real Triple C and no Chawangu? How many can publicly say that Chawangu is a political charlatan? How many can withdraw on a point of principle instead of staying for parliamentary picks? As always, time will tell. So these are the thoughts of Hopo Chimono. He is saying, Kuti, Varufana Kungweta withdraw in mass and force my by elections in all these constituencies who contest as my independent. I think this must also happen to those uh, record triple C MPs. They must just con contest as independent as independent candidates in their respective constituencies. Wongo voted of Sevano. That's only how the opposition can avoid a two thirds majority from Zanu PF. Anokon Genefaro, Dinwin Honorable Madif.